uh, how far we go till now. So the core vision of, of AR is to overlay the reality with, uh, with, the, with the virtual image. And I say, if we, get, if we can make it working as good as in Star Wars, then we really solved the problem of AR. But there's still uh, quite many challenges remaining. And for instance, take the device uh, HoloLens that you might know. I mean, it, it, it's okay, but it's just so bulky and not so nice to look at that it looks more like Robocop. And it's definitely not something that you want to wear all day. And, uh, and the other um, challenge comes with the price, because uh, again, for instance, Hololens starts starts at the price of three thousand five hundred US dollars, and, and that's far out of the reach of an uh, average individual, and especially for students also. And um, there are also other companies like Magically, but they still don't solve the problem in a better way. And the, the third challenge is that public expectation of AR is, is very, very high. And that's because most of the people who saw something about AR, it was an animation. And it wasn't actually rendered uh, online on an AR device. So they expect to see crazy things and then yeah, it's a rock. <laughs> um, and because there's still uh, so many remaining challenges, there's no um, convincing solution um, until now. And because of that, uh, students here from this campus um, wanted to learn more about it and, and uh, by, by actually starting a project and learning by proposing our own approaches, basically. And uh, as I said, we started uh, four, year, four weeks ago by defining like what are our most core problems that we want to solve. And so we said we want to, or try to make a device that has a price lower than the price of a smartphone. And you might think, well, like, why smartphone? And the thing is that nearly everybody can afford a smartphone. So if we have, if we manage to uh, make a device, an AR device that is has a lower price than an average smartphone, it's truly affordable. And the second point that is really important for us is that it's good looking. Uh, that means it's good looking and, and less bulky. In other words, something that you actually want to wear and can wear for a whole day. And with those uh, goals in mind, um, we actually already did uh, three prototypes in those four weeks, so we, we advanced quite quickly. And um, we have two core points that we came up with. The first point is that we uh, do most of the heavy computations on the phone because nearly um, all the uh, smartphones nowadays are actually computationally quite powerful. And if we do that also, the advantage is that we can reduce the size of the board of the AR device uh, really significantly. And this reduces the price of the overall AR glasses. And it also makes it uh, possible to make it, uh, I'd say, less bulky. Um, and the third part that is like a nice advantage is that the power consumption is, is much lower. That allows, again, to make smaller batteries. And this, again, reduces the size, the weight, and the overall cost of the device. And uh, as you can see, for instance, we uh, the, our core board is uh, this ESP-based um, board, and it, it, even though it's quite small, it's uh, astonishingly powerful. 
and can handle uh, uh, online face uh, detection and recognition and uh, still do uh, on the same time um, a live video downstream to a phone via Wi-Fi. And uh, it costs thirty dollars, so it's it's really affordable. Um, and the second part that we really focus on is on the optical system because the uh, optical system is one of the main reasons why why uh, AR devices are so bulky, so heavy, and so expensive. And uh, we, we really try to uh, reduce the complexity of the optical system. And because of that, we started with the most simple thing uh, that one can do, and we just, at the beginning, we just placed a display in front of the eye. Um, and now we are using a transparent OLED uh, display, and with a small distance, like a few millimeters to the display, um, we have um, a lens in order that the human eye can focus actually on it because the human eye cannot focus on uh, distances um, or objects that are near than like more or less 10 centimeters. So that's the, the, the current state of the project. And uh, now we, uh, the next step basically is to uh, have a display which has a higher pixel density and also supports uh, RGB uh, colors so that we can actually make uh, that we can make our first useful applications. And um, yeah, so that was a short top level overview of the project. And in case you have uh, any questions um, or are interested in the project, better ask them immediately afterwards, or also you can add me on WeChat because uh, I won't be able to attend tomorrow. And if not, uh, yeah, may ARP with you.